Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Electrical Deck. In this video, we are going to learn about types of DC generators. At first, let us see the construction of DC generator. DC generator is mainly divided into two parts. They are stator and rotor. Stator consist of stationary parts in which yoke or magnetic frame, pole cores and pole shoes, field windings, brushes and brush holders, end covers, comes under stationary parts and rotor consist of rotating parts like armature core, armature winding, commutator and shaft. You can check out the detailed construction of DC generator in the link given in description. Now, we know that DC generator consists of two windings. They are field winding, which is a part of stator, and armature winding, which is a part of rotor. Depending upon the connection, how these two windings are connected, there are various types of DC generators. Let us see them. The DC generators are divided into two types. Separately excited DC generator and self excited DC generator. Again, the self excited generator is divided into three types. They are DC shunt generator, DC series generator, DC compound generator. Let us check out briefly about them. In separately excited DC generator. The field winding is supplied from a external separate DC source. Here we can see that the excitation to the field winding is separate from the armature. Hence the generator is called as separately excited DC generator. The field winding of this type of generator consists of large number of turns with thin wire. So the resistance of the field winding is high in order to limit the field current. Now, from the circuit diagram, we can see that armature current IA is equal to load current IL. Therefore, the terminal voltage V generated at the load is given by E is equal to V plus IA RA plus V brush, where E is induced EMF, that is, pi P N Z by 60 A. IARA is the armature winding drop due to armature resistance. And V brush is called brush contact drop at the commutator. Generally, brush contact drop is negligible compared to other voltages. Hence, it can be neglected. Now, let us see the self excited DC generator. In self excited DC generator, Field winding is supplied from the armature of the generator itself. Here you may get a question that without generated EMF field cannot be excited and without excitation there cannot be generated EMF. Then how a self-excited DC generator works? The answer is residual magnetism by the field poles. Thus, when a generator started, the field poles possess some residual flux. This flux develops small EMF in the armature, which in turns armature drives a small currents through the field winding. This further increases the amount of induced EMF in armature. This process continues till the generator develops the rated voltage at the armature. The different types of self-excited DC generators are DC shunt generator, DC series generator, and DC compound generator. In DC shunt generator, the field winding is connected in parallel with the armature winding. And the load is connected across the armature terminals. The field winding of DC shunt generator is similar to field winding of separately excited DC generator with large number of turns. Let RSH be the resistance of the field winding. From the figure we can write that armature current IA is equal to load current IL plus field current ISH. Here field current 
I S H is equal to V by R S H. Therefore, the terminal voltage V generated at the load is given by A is equal to V plus I A R A plus V brush, where A is induced EMF, that is, pi P N Z by 60 A. Here also, the induced EMF E requires to supply the armature winding drop I A R A due to armature resistance and brush contact drop at the commutator. When the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding while supplying the load, then the generator is called DC series generator. Field winding in this case denoted as Y and YY. The resistance of the series field winding is very small with less number of turns and thick cross section of wire. Let RSE be the resistance of the series field winding. From the figure we can see that all armature field and load carry the same currents due to series connections. Therefore, Armature current I A is equal to load current I L is equal to field current I S E. Now, the terminal voltage V generated at the load is given by E is equal to V plus I A R A plus I S E R S E plus V brush, where E is induced EMF, that is, pi P N Z by 60 A. Here, in addition to the drop IARA, induced EMF as to supply voltage drop across the series field winding also. That is, ISERSE. -E. The DC compound generator is the combination of both DC shunt and series generators. By this combination of connections, there are two types of DC compound generators. They are long shunt compound generator and short shunt compound generator. In long shunt compound generator, the shunt field winding is connected across the series field winding. In this generator, series field current is equal to armature current. And armature current is the sum of shunt field current and load current. The shunt field resistance ISH is given by load voltage V divided by shunt field resistance RSH. Therefore, the voltage equation for long shunt compound generator will be same as series generator. In short shunt compound generator, the shunt field winding is connected only across the armature winding. In this generator, series field current is equal to load current. And armature current is the sum of series field current and shunt field current. Here, the shunt field resistance ISH is given by EMF induced E without armature resistance drop divided by shunt field resistance RSH. Here also. The voltage equation for DC short shunt compound generator will be same as series generator. Thank you for watching video. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe us for more electrical stuff.